Yeah, so welcome everybody. It's the very first day of the European Championships 2016 here in Le Mule and I'm with Quentin Wilson. Nice to have you here, Quentin. Thank you. Nice to have us here. <laughs> <laughs> Quentin, um, there may possibly be nobody in IMGA who has that experience you have. You competed in nearly 12 World Team Championships. You've been uh, you participated in several European Team Championships. Been the European Champion twice, 2010, 2012, and lately you became World Team Championship uh, Team Champion in Ireland. So may you please tell us uh, and give us a little insight what made this um, victory possible. I think first was um, when we needed to realize that the team was good enough and that we were going to be able to compete at this level and um, when we won in 2012 in uh, Royal Welsh we've, we had a team that was really consistent and uh, I could see the same uh, happening with our team because they were really consistent and we had the uh, riders that were just mm. strong and quick and so I thought okay now for the final this is my part I need to talk to them and, I, and uh, they really listened to me they came to me a lot and asked a lot of questions and uh, after the first part, I realized we were scared of winning. So we had a sort of uh, psychoanalyst uh, talk with the trainer and uh, we all talked together and we said, why are we scared of winning? Because mm -hmm. that was the main point. After, f after six, seven races, we were in the lead with 20 points and we dropped it all. After, uh, so I talked to them and I said, what can we do? Are you scared? Are you upset that you're going to hurt someone? Or what is it? Well, how can we solve that problem? And we talked about it. And the second part just went. Mm. So you really pushed them to the win? Well, I think they pushed me too. It's just <laughs> uh, I knew the problem, my problem was, so they pushed me too. So, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. And um, yeah, now at the Europeans, you're competing in the individual. You ended up in fourth place today with 33 points. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we just talked about earlier, the cutoff will be at 45 points. What are your goals? What are your remaining goals for this uh, competition? I think it's going to be really hard now. Uh, I need to... I, f I still hope to qualify for the semis. I think it's going to be hard. Uh, so I better train my pony to be <laughs> ready for the World Pairs next week. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no, but I'm going to work with him and I, I think we can do well. He still is a very quick pony and he's talented. It's just uh, mm. we need to put everything together to be able to compete at this level. Mm. And um, let's come to the team championships, which we are uh, starting at uh, Thursday. Um, what are your expectations for the French teams, especially the world champion in the Open? I think it's going to be it's going to be fun uh, <laughs> because they are very quick riders. Um, all of them have already done uh, the World Team Championship. Uh, two of the riders I came uh, so one rider I was world champion in team with him in 2012. He's riding the same pony. Uh, one rider was uh, world champion in 2014 uh, in France in juniors, and uh, two guys are from the team which we okay. just won. And you have uh, one other talented rider. She's been competing, I think, five times at the world team championship. So, so it's a good mix. Yeah, well it's experienced. A good mix. Yeah, and talented. Mm. Okay, I think so. Um, so France is since several years always in the mix um, to win those competitions. What makes them so strong? What makes them so special? I think is the quantity. Mm. In France we have uh, more than 4,500 riders. So just to... The French Federation is the third biggest uh, federation in France for sports. And uh, the fact that we have so many riders and uh, we all do short jumping and dressage and cross country before or in the same time and we start very young so we just yeah so they they have all good uh, yeah. gaming skills but also a good riding education if i can call yeah. it like that yeah. yes okay um Let's come to you yourself. You're very experienced hosting competition. You hosted um, the European, uh, the Worlds 2014, and you organized the European 2015 within three weeks, which is really tremendous. So, um, what are the main challenges of those competitions, like the Europeans here in Lumiere? 
uh, I think you started with the best. You have a good arena. I think this is uh, the best year in Le Moulin is to have a good arena because it's what we are here for, to compete with good horses. And so you don't want to have them uh, being hurted or... And after that, uh, yeah, to have a good team around, and uh, which you have here, we've been welcomed so well on Sunday, even though we arrived a bit early. And uh, the weather is here, and uh, I think everything has been fought for the horses. And uh, I think it's most important is horses. Mm -hmm. And after that, people are just happy if everything goes well for horses. Just yeah. Okay. So you have a good time. I wish you the very best for the rest of the competition thank and you. lots of fun this week here in Lumuyen. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you.